What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are having a great one today, as always, and I am happy to be back to Kraken. Uh, it's been a little while, so we're going to jump right on into this one. Uh, we are looking at one of my favorites. We got King Shark from Suicide Squad. Uh, Suicide Squad, honestly, is one of my favorite comic movies. It's probably my go-to when I just want to turn a stupid superhero flick on and not pay too much attention. Um, it really is quite amazing if you haven't seen it. It's an absolute hoot. Uh, way better than the original one. Did a lot of justice for the comic itself. Uh, so when I saw they were doing this guy, I was like, yes, I need it. I'm hoping they still do a rat catcher too at some point, but uh, don't have my hopes too high on that at the moment. Uh, sadness. Um, so, so if you're listening, make a rat catcher too. Just saying. Uh, we have already unboxed this fella just to make it kind of quicker, but I did want to show off a little bit of the box itself just because it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so we'll get a couple different angles of that and then we'll move on into the good stuff. Um, this guy runs about 220 to 230 bucks, I think, plus shipping. So he is kind of pricey, but not com bad compared to normal Hot Toys. Uh, but more importantly, let's take a look at the good stuff. All right, so as I said, I already did yank him out of the box, and as you can see, this fella is an absolute unit. Uh, he is absolutely massive. He is a very, very big figure, and rightfully so. Uh, just to give some point of reference, uh, I figured we would grab the, the good old so-so uh, Bloodsport just to see how they size up, and it really is pretty spot on for the most part. Um, so if you were wondering, trying to do a suicide lineup, uh, definitely is proportionate, um, but he is also a very, very big fella. Now, one of the issues, if any, uh, that I had with the figure is there's really not a whole lot to him. Um, I almost feel like they kind of rushed him um, just to get him basically a Suicide Squad figure out there. Uh, I really just feel like they could have gone a lot further with this guy, but we'll kind of take a look. You do get the book that he was reading, so if you want to show the world how smart he is, uh, he can, in fact, hold and read this handy little book here. Um, they did a really good job with this. Uh, very, very straightforward, uh, but really outstanding work in replicating it. Uh, even the price and stuff like that, I, I am impressed with that. I'll give him credit for it. Um, and then you do get a little Starro, which uh, also made me happy. I was kind of sad this wasn't bendable. I was sort of hoping you might be able to, to flex this a little bit. It would have been cool to snap it on another figure. That way you can have like an infected superhero of some variety. Uh, so I, I was a little bummed with that. Would have liked if maybe they had this and then like a mask version that you know would just kind of fit on the average uh, six scale figure. But I digress. Uh, you do also get some replacement hands, and this was kind of one thing I was not overly impressed with. Um, just as you can kind of see, we'll do a little bit of a rotation here. Uh, there's really not a ton of difference um, in the actual hand shape itself. Uh, these are going to be designed to hold on to things a little bit better, so if you wanted him posed reading the book or anything like that, or you know, grabbing onto somebody, you'd end up using these. Uh, but really, in the grand scheme of things, you know, other than a bit of a difference on thumb location, you know, the fingers are pretty much a little bit more closed. Really not a ton of difference, though, so I was kind of bummed in that regard. Uh, but the actual figure is amazing. Now, you don't get much movement out of him at all. This is one of Hot Toys Power Pose figures, so you're not really going to get to do a ton. Uh, you can basically move his shoulders. Um, you can kind of wiggle his wrists, and that's it. Um, so downside, you're not going to be able to do a ton of different posing with him. A uh, good side to that, though, is he's always going to look good. You know, other than seeing a couple articulation spots, he's pretty much going to look exactly like you would expect him to. Um, and this face is absolutely outstanding. Probably a little too close of a close-up there, but uh, there you go if you want to give him a little kiss. Uh, but he's just absolutely adorable. They really did a knockout job with that. I'm very, very impressed with the likeness. The outfit, they got his shorts pretty well. Uh, done. I was considering getting another one of him just to give him the, uh, the prison suit, which I might do. It's kind of a close-up. They did a really good job texturing the uh, the actual shark skin on him. Um, so his whole body does have that kind of rough sandpapery feel, which is really, really cool. 
and they even nicked up his dorsal fin a little bit, which I love. I mean, you do get a whole bunch of little battle wounds and scratches on him throughout, like he has, uh, so I, I feel like they really kind of knocked it out of the park in that regards. Um, I'm genuinely hoping that they do more of the line. I would love, like I said, Ratcatcher and Harley, uh, but if not, uh, very happy with this fellow. He's going to be a cool addition to, to pretty much any DC display base you do, um, especially if you like King Shark as much as I do. Uh, so that'll do it for this one. Like I said, short, sweet, and simple. So thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.